Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is a continuation lecture on sanity checks which must be performed to ensure the smooth execution of floor planning and other steps related to physical design. So let us start without any delay. Previously we have covered netlist and SDC related checks in depth. If you wish to revisit details of those sanity checks then link is given in the description below. In this video we shall be covering linking related checks that is this one. And if you have any questions or doubts please do ask through the comment section or you can email us. We know that studies are never easy or entertaining. If that had been the case, then everyone would have scored excellent or would have been become scientist or engineer. But that is not the case. Your effort is always needed. When we run physical library checks, it reports the cell which does not have physical views. One possible case could be cell is not defined in the left. If it is not defined in the left, that means what will happen is you know that cell is looking like this in the schematic, but you don't know how does it look in the physical world. So you do not have the physical view. So you can say that you do not have physical view. There is no physical view available for that particular cell. Then that could be an issue. Other possible case is the cell is properly defined but the dimension of that cell is not present. So you know that cell is looking like a rectangle. Let's say this buffer only. So it has pin A, pin B, but you do not know how much is the height. This height is not available or maybe the case that this width is not available, then you will have issues. Other possible case could be that cell is defined, dimension is also present, pin is there, but you do not know what is the direction of pin. Sometimes pin is not defined. Sometimes you will have pins defined, but the direction of pin is not there. So you know that there are two pins that will be present in the cell. They are rectangular in shape, but you do not know which one is input, which one is output. Sometimes you do not know how many rows are going to be created for one particular cell. Is it a single row heighted cell? or is it a multi row heighted cell or there is a possibility that you have pins defined but their geometries are not present. You know that one pin will be input, one pin will be output or some other blockages are there which should be present but these geometries definition is not there. Geometry is not properly defined and hence there will be issues with the library. Hence, it is necessary to check the library after importing it in the data. Similar to physical library check, there is a possibility of missing dot lib views or missing timing views that will lead to issue with your loading of dot libs. For example, let us consider one AND gate and it is properly defined physically. But let us say that there are two pins and there is one output pin and the direction of these pin is missing in your dot lib. So there is a possibility of missing direction in the dot lib that will lead to improper loading of dot lib and hence tool will not have the knowledge timing wise which is an input pin or which is an output pin. Another case that can happen in the issue with dot lib is your missing timing arc. There are timing arcs present in the dot lib which defines how the de delay can be calculated. So for a proper STA you need timing arcs. If the timing arc is missing then there will be an issue with the dot lib. Next case will be there could be a missing transition or cap values. So if your dot lib every pin will have a tran cap value associated which is defined in the dot lib but if it is not present then there will be an issue with your dot lib in design there can be a cases where certain cell let us say that this and cell one cell is connected to ground that is a tie low so if there is a tie low signal or there could be a tie high signal also so these signals should be properly connected if there is not connectivity present then there will be an issue for that there is a check that checks for unconnected terminals or unconnected tie high tie low terminals so you should have proper tie high or tie low connectivity properly this improper connectivity can be easily caught later on when you do the functional verification so functional verification will catch all the improper connectivity because it will affect the functionality of the design we have to see that upfront so that we can save the runtime. Let us consider a two input NAND gate where designer implemented one inverter using a NAND gate with a special case like where this pin is connected to the VDD and when it is connected to VDD 
what will happen is this b will be b bar at the output and this kind of inverter can only be possible when you have a tie high signal at one of the inputs so this tie high case should be connected to vdd and sometimes because of improper implementation this tie high connection is not present and that leads to functionality issues or it could be some other issue and that should be avoided for that there is a tie high tie low check command in synopsis related tool to check for library is check underscore library which will give you all issues which are related to the library that's all for this video if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section please do like share and subscribe to the channel thank you